guys, welcome to my channel. If you have been following this channel, you probably know that this is the second episode of the 10 of my favorite Japanese PSP games. Let's jump right into the gameplay section. So the first game is Taiko no Tatsujin DX. Out of the five games that I'm going to introduce this time, Taiko no Tatsujin seems to be the only game that has no English patch or English translation. But well, this is a rhythmic game and I don't think you have to know a lot of Japanese in it, so well, I think you'll be fine. First of all, I have to apologize for the rough recording for this game because I had to play very vigorously and it just difficult. It is just really difficult to record when you play in that manner. I'm not sure if my movement affects my camera or something, but the sound in reality is a lot better than the recording. There are three Taiko no Tatsujin games on PSP and the DX one, which is this one, is my favorite. And that is because I like the song in DX version better than the other two. The Monster Hunter Matley that I'm playing is only available in the DX version as I know and it is a download content. If you're interested in the DLC of this game, there is a YouTube video about it and I will put down the link to that video in the description box. And just to be clear, I didn't download this song from that link because I have been playing Taiko no Tatsujin for 10 years or more. So this is from the save I used in my old PSP. If you have ever emulated Taiko no Tatsujin, well, either PSP version or NDS version on a low-end Android device, you notice that Taiko no Tatsujin is not that easy to emulate because, well, you have music and sometimes the music just couldn't get into the right place or the buttons are not, you know, like reacting as you want it, but here on Retro Pocket 2, I'm really surprised that it just acts exactly like on PSP. So this is one game that I would definitely suggest people to try. The next game is Me and My Katamari, which is the English translated name of this game. The Japanese name of this game would be Katamari Tamashi. In this game, you'll be a prince of... Well, I don't know what that is, but you'll be a prince and you'll have to roll the ball into the size required by the king. And then if you reach the target, you'll be able to make an island for some creatures. The idea of this game is pretty easy. The bigger the ball you have, the more the thing that you can stick to the ball, so you'll be able to make the ball bigger and bigger. It looks like a simple game, but it is never easy. And I'm really surprised by the performance here on Retro Pocket 2 because, as you can see, it is a 3D game and you know, it requires a lot of rendering of 3D pictures and it just works very, very smooth, just like on PSP. So I am very, very surprised by the performance and I really enjoy it on my Retro Pocket 2.
The next game is Digimon World Redigitized. This is a typical Digimon World game that you have to train up your Digimon and go for some adventure and clear some tasks and stuff like that. The only thing that surprised me is the performance because it is just like on PSP, which is very surprising because my, uh, in my experience, I, as I said in my last video, I couldn't make the Digimon Adventure, which is the classic one, to work on Retro Pocket 2. The problem with Digimon Adventure is that when it comes with 3D graphics, it just couldn't work. There are many slowdowns and the sound glitches and it is not playable but this one is surprising because I see more 3D graphics in this game but it is running super smooth and there's nothing wrong with the movies and stuff so well I think this is running very very smooth if you have finished all your Pokemon games and wanted to find another similar game to play, this could be one of your choice. The next one is Gulumin and it is a 3D action RPG. It is also ported to 3DS. This is a story about a girl who moved to her grandpa's town and she met some good monster in the town and those monster kind of gave her a jeweler as a weapon to fight against the evil monsters. Let's look at some scene in the dungeon. There are a few puzzles that you have to solve in each dungeon, which reminds me of Zelda. So if you like Zelda, it could be one of the game that you would enjoy. The next one is Popolo Kuroisu, and I don't know how to pronounce it in English because I think it would sound weird if I pronounce it as Popolo Kuroisu, I don't know, it sounds weird. But anyway, this is a typical Japanese RPG game, and it is a classic, so I'm not gonna talk about it a lot. There are two original games of Popolo Kuroisu, and... I think they are not translated into English, so this would be the only one that you could find in English.
So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video of 10 of my favorite Japanese PSP games. If you enjoy it, please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel for support. Bye.